Hey everybody and welcome to a video that I wasn't expecting to make and that is because my Toyota Corolla T-Sport has a serious problem that occurred uh, during the last uh, truck day. If you didn't watch it, uh, click here or there's gonna be a link into the description. Now before I begin the story, I'll just say even though my engine is done, uh, I am not done with this project car. It's not gonna end in the junkyard or on sale for less than 1000 euros. This is my first car and I've owned this car for over six years now. I was only 17 when I bought it. But anyway, let's begin the story. It all started in the final stint of the final truck day of this year. It was my uh, Toyota's uh, fourth truck day. Now there are uh, three stints on each truck day. The first two stints I am mostly practicing and just having fun. And in the third stint I always give my best to try to beat my previous record. But few minutes before the end I was on my uh, very fast lap and after like uh, two sharp corners On the little straight I barely had any acceleration It was weird to me, but after that short straight, uh, I let go of the gas because uh, there was a fast corner coming up. And then while I was going around at fast corner, all of a sudden a knocking noise started. I immediately slowed down and I just cruised to the pits. Yeah, huh? no, I'm not sure if you have a lot of people. I'm not sure in the pits, uh, my dad and my friends uh, listened to the noise and one of my friends uh, said that uh, it sounds like it's a chain related issue and honestly I was also thinking like it was a small problem probably because in my first uh, two track days uh, I had nothing but small problems uh, the first one was the belt that got damaged and in the second was the radiator uh, hose popped off. But still, not to make things worse for my car, uh, it was towed to where my car is maintained. So on Monday uh, they will tell us uh, what's the problem. We arrived successfully and parked the car outside of the service shop. After two long nights, Monday came, so we finally went to the service. One of the mechanics came to hear the noise, and he, after hearing the noise, simply said, That was like a, a big shock uh, to me and my dad. Um, it, was, it wasn't easy. Um, from the sound that he heard, he told us that problem is related to somewhere in the camshaft or rod bearings. Which means uh, fixing it, the whole engine needs to be pulled out and opened. And by doing all that, 
they just honestly said that it's not worth uh, doing because it would be so expensive. So their best solution was to try and find the whole 2ZZ engine and simply swap it. After the talk with the guys at service, we tried to find the 2ZZ engine nearby us in my country or our neighbor's country. But after like hours of search, there were none on sale. We went to see if there are on eBay and surprisingly there are a lot of uh, 2ZZ engines. But just like buying everything on eBay, uh, it's always a risk. Since I won't be using my Toyota for a while, we put back all the original parts. So right now we towed my car back home and cooled down a little bit. We don't have to rush anything and like nobody is rushing us. Plus I still have my uh, Peugeot 207 GTI hot hatch to have fun. So in the end, we still don't have any clear plan uh, aside from uh, researching more and just waiting until we find a good condition and accessible 2ZZ engine to swap. That may be in one month or five months or even one year. So yeah, that's the story on how I destroyed my Toyota Corolla T-Sports engine. Lastly, I want to say that I've read all the people's comments that suggested me to buy a baffled oil pan and lift bolts and so on. To those people, I just wanted to say I wasn't like ignoring you and thinking like, oh, I don't need that. I plan to buy all those things uh, for the next year, uh, but right now it's too late. Some things you learn in the easy way and some things you learn in the expensive hard way. Although we didn't open the engine, so we don't know exactly what happened. But if you ask me, I think it's because of the original 2ZZ oil pan. The failure happened after two sharpest turns. And so I think the oil pump was sucking air instead of oil. That was thanks to the big uh, G-forces got swooshed on the sides and out of reach for the oil pump. But that's life. I mean, it's not like I wasn't aware that uh, this thing can happen. I mean, in racing, your engine can blow up at any second. Anyway, I want to end this video on a positive note. And that is that, again, I'm not uh, giving up on this car. So the story of this amazing Toyota is not over. So stay tuned for more videos on this car. It probably won't be so soon, but it will be back. And I want to thank you for following my journey with this car. It's been an amazing journey, but it's not over.